the uh, the composer Leonard Bernstein. He was asked very brilliant about the future of humanity culture, and I love this quote. I am no longer quite sure what the question is, but I do know that the answer is yes. It's all about asking, not telling or answering. Uh, engaging people in such a way that they're asked what they want to see changed, what their values are. Going back to Janice Stein, ask, first talk about values, what you care about, and um, that that can motivate people to engage. Um, music and mapping, food and conversation, bringing people together around a film with conversation. Change occurs one conversation at a time. When we discuss education, it's important to think about the audience that we're trying to reach. So who are we trying to educate and, and what for? Sharing about both the impacts and possible solutions. Um, sharing about success stories uh, from other towns that could be either replicated or maybe better used as sources uh, for inspiration. We talked about the importance of people asking why. Um, when something is presented, why is it that way? Um, why do you think that way? Whatever it might be, to really build that kind of critical intelligence, which means um, why is that relevant to me? Building that engagement, there's proactive people, the early adopters that can kind of see things coming, the scenario planners. And that goes back to our very first economic conference. We decided to bring in people who had actually done something in their community. And that was a strong message because people weren't just talking about ideas, they were talking about ideas that had worked. A specific audience having a specific message really feels important. Um, yeah, one of the things that, uh, that we've been talking about is how, you know, how do we get our message across? And when you, you brought up the old idea, the high idea of uh, sea level rise, one is that uh, Nova Scotia and the other Atlantic provinces have got people within the Department of um, the Environment or Fisheries and Oceans who have been going around giving presentations about sea level rise. And so one of the things that we've done in the, our community is we've reached out to the Fishers Association. And when you have fishers that come together and they see this presentation, um, and then they start asking questions about their futures. Uh, it really, like they take it home and they translate it to their families. And I think it, that's one way of um, taking at least one topic and making it so much more relevant to, you know, to people um, in our communities, especially since we're a maritime region. Uh, I would say that sometimes the motivation for those people who are in the know uh, are motivated by the bean counters. And that is, um, you know, how many people are, are behind this. So in terms of uh, sometimes changing attitude or changing decision making uh, is based on knowing that there are large and um, disparate groups that are coming together to, to say, this is enough. The university here on Prince Edward Island last year uh, brought in a guest speaker from uh, Samso Island in Norway, or Denmark. And uh, it's a really remarkable island that uh, has a population roughly the same size as Prince Edward Island and uh, has decided to become a completely sustainable, renewable energy, organic, island and uh, it's a very remarkable uh, success story on a, on a large scale. Yeah that's a good example of learning from an inspiring story and how did they do it? Did they lead with political will? Is that how it started? Did it start with citizen engagement? The whole dynamic of how they got from A to B it could be quite a learning curve and uh, it could then help put a plan in place, whether it's Annapolis County or just about anywhere else in the region. Um, you know, I think that there's a balance that's, that we need to strike. 
uh, you know, between the necessity for outdoor education and environmental education and using the computer and modern technology so that we achieve a balance, you know. Anyway, food for thought. I would like to be able to talk to the movers and shakers about societal collapse in some sort of educative, contemplative, safe environment. And I think that would be helpful. Um, the dedication of merits. May all places be held sacred. May all beings be cherished. May all injustices of oppression and devaluation be fully righted, remedied, and healed. May all wounds to forests, rivers, deserts, oceans, all wounds to Mother Earth be lovingly restored to bountiful health. May all beings everywhere delight in whale song, bird song, and blue sky. May all beings abide in peace and well-being, awaken and be free.